everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So I've been trying to like be creative and like come up with a way to share with you guys what my plans are for next year. And rather than doing like some really cool creative video, um, I'm just going to tell you because I, I don't want to wait anymore. Like I'm so tired of waiting. I just want to tell you guys what's going on in my life. And I'm so I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to spill the beans. So first thing, the Valdez family is moving. So we are currently living in the Queen Creek area of Arizona. We are moving back to Prescott. Yes, back to Prescott, Arizona. If you guys are unfamiliar with the state, Queen Creek is down here in the south. Prescott is sort of in the middle. It's considered like northern Arizona. It's a mountain town. Google it. It's beautiful. It's 20 degrees cooler at all times. We get snow. We get fall. We get spring. We get summer. It's just, it's a dream. Um, I'm also from Prescott, so I grew up there. I graduated from there. And I did work there for two school years. Um, and so uh, we get to go back. We're going back to Prescott. So um, I am going to be continuing to teach fourth grade. And I am going to be continuing to teach science and social studies. So the school that I'm going to has decided to departmentalize. And they have asked me to join their team as a science social studies teacher. So I get to do exactly what I've been doing and I absolutely love what I've been doing so I'm so so happy I know a ton of you are going to ask are you going to be working with Jennifer again so for a minute we thought yes things were all set I was going to go back to that school and be with Jennifer from Genuine Teaching and then another opportunity came up that I just could not pass up um and so I am not going to be teaching with Jennifer, um, but I am going to be living within like 15 minutes, 20 minutes of her. So it's going to be wonderful getting to go home and getting to be like near and around my dear friend again. So excited. Um, so with that being said, a lot of things have actually been taking place behind the scenes here. And I have a stack of videos like filmed and edited ready to post to just kind of like fill in the blanks because it's been a process. Um, we decided that we were going to be moving back to Prescott in January of this year, 2023. And since then, the wheels have not stopped turning. Um, you've probably noticed that Cash is not here with me in the morning. That is because in late February, we actually pulled Cash out of preschool Scott got a position up north um, and he and Cash moved up north. They moved in with my mom. Cash started going to preschool um, and he started like t-ball and all kinds of activities up there. Um, my mom and dad are kind of like taking care of him while Scott works. And I've been just down here dealing with all the fun stuff. So our house has been up for sale. Um, it recently sold. We are in escrow at this moment, and the escrow closes about a week before school is out. So um, Scott got a job. I got a job. Our house has been sold. We're making an offer on a piece of land, and we're hoping to build our dream home in Prescott. So that's what's going on. Those are my plans for next year. It's absolutely insane that this is all happening and it's happening so fast. Um, a lot of things have gone on in between like job offers. I had like two or three job offers. Um, and before I picked and chose uh, the one that I like have officially taken, I actually went up last weekend and signed my contract and did all of that. Um, and so it is, it's official. So, Next year, I'm teaching fourth grade science and social studies in the Prescott area, and I could not be more excited. Like, this is just, this is, this is a godsend. So anyway, that is that. Um, so let's talk about moving, <laughs> because you guys may have noticed in my last few videos, I've had like boxes kind of stacked over here. Well, that's because I'm moving classrooms, um, and I have a lot of crap. 
So, um, and I don't really plan on getting rid of a ton because I do teach science. And so all of this science stuff that I've accumulated over the last three years that I've spent money on and collected, I'm not getting rid of it because I'm going to use it all. So um, I have been starting to kind of like go through and pack things and sort of organize things. You can kind of see like I've got some stuff starting to get stacked here. Um, decided to not use these as table bins anymore and actually use them for science supply storage. So I think what I might do is order like another six of these, maybe even nine more. And then that way I don't have to use these book bins anymore for science stuff. I can just kind of go with this because in my new classroom, I'm going to have almost an entire wall of top and bottom cabinets and a countertop with a sink. So I'm thinking that I'll probably not need to use these anymore and I can put all of my science like stuff like tape and popsicle sticks and toothpicks and Q-tips and all the things. I can put them in cabinets, but I want to put them in something like this so that I can make labels for the front. And then whenever I have a lab or an activity that we're going to do, I can just pull from these instead of these bins and then it's going to be a lot easier to move. So I do have some time. I'm probably going to order some of those on Amazon and then that way I can just kind of get all my science supplies put in bins like that for storage. But I have so much stuff, you guys, that I have to pack like it's unreal. So my plan is like what I've been like what I did yesterday and what I'm going to continue doing is after school, since it's just me at home. Um, Cash isn't there, Scott isn't there during the weeks. I go up every weekend to visit them um, or they come down, but I've been going up a lot more than they've come down. Um, I'm gonna start staying at school until about five o'clock every day and I'm just gonna pack because I don't wanna pack during the school day because I don't want the kids like watching me pack and not learning because Jessica is gonna be teaching um, three days a week, you guys already know this. Um, and I just don't want to provide them with any distraction um, from what she's teaching. So my big plan is while Jessica's teaching, of course, I'm going to be observing, providing feedback. Um, Jessica's fabulous. Like she is top notch. We typically debrief between each block. Um, but while she's teaching, I'm going to be doing some prep work and some like technology stuff. So at this moment, my big to-do list involves moving all of my files from my computer, like my school computer, things that I've made and like downloaded and stuff since the beginning, since I've been here. I need to get those on like a, a drive or move them to my personal drive or email them, like send them over. So I've been kind of working on that um, while she's been teaching. And then also too, I'm planning and prepping for the, the whole first quarter um, of the next school year. So I, I use Mystery Science now and I'm gonna be able to use Mystery Science at my new school in addition to, it's called Inspire um, and it's by McGraw-Hill. I haven't looked totally into it yet, but I do know that it's very project-based, very hands-on, um, but I am gonna start the school year using Mystery Science and I am gonna start with the energizing unit because it's the one we're doing right now and everything's already made. So I'm kind of gonna like, like as we are using all of the supplies, I'm gonna try to like keep it as nice as I can and have it ready to just go when I get up there. Usually I start with earth science, but I think next year I'm gonna start with physical science just so that um, I can pack everything else and keep all of the physical science stuff like out and ready to grab, um, which is gonna make like planning and prepping a lot easier. So all my like dirt and soil and stuff won't really need to be out right away. It can just kind of store it away. And and yeah, so anyway, things are rolling here and uh, and they're not slowing down. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm not gonna let this video be like a whole long, like 30 minute vlog, but I did wanna share with you guys what my plans are for next year. I'm very excited. Um, it's just the dream. I get to go home um, and be with my family and raise cash in a small town. And, you know, I just think that there's nothing better or sweeter than that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go and start um, 
getting some other things done before Jessica gets here. But um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted if anything else happens. And then just be prepared. I do have like two or three longer videos coming on my teaching channel um, that are about the move and like the process and stuff. So keep an eye for that. And then I'm not going to be sharing much about like the home build here on this channel. I do want to start posting on our family channel a little bit more just for our own personal like memory keeping stuff. So if you're interested in watching the process of the house being built and the move and all of that, you can head over to Apples in the Badge and you can hang out with us there and watch the whole process. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I do post there um, quite often. And um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.